Exclusive. America does want a war, but it needs China to be blamed for it. Here's the story. Many people around the world are wondering why there's been so many negative news stories about China in recent years. We're told the Chinese have killed Hong Kong, a genocide in Xinjiang, and are about to invade Australia. But none of that is remotely fair as a portrayal of what's really happening. So what's the deal? My colleague Phil Hines and I found answers to that question. By putting the media aside, we've been talking to and studying the views of diplomats, strategists and other people in the know. We've just published a pair of reports giving the real story. US military strategists have realized that it's now inevitable that Asia will be the economic center of the world. Given the speed of growth here, China's primacy can no longer be prevented. The West is desperate to win the 21st century. So America has been working to unite the world against China using disinformation, NGOs and the media. So for example, the US is endlessly provoking China over Taiwan and the media is writing it up as China being aggressive. In 2019, America tried everything it could to make the PLA take control of Hong Kong, but China refused to take the bait. This year, the US is using Taiwan to do the exact same trick. We have quotes in our reports from several sources, including from the US. For now, China appears to be following the advice of Lao Tzu. To make muddy water settle into clear water, the only tool you need is patience. Peace.